In this video, I'm gonna explain to you why processed foods are one of the biggest reasons for an unstable blood sugar. So if you wanna lower your A1C, your glucose levels, or simply avoid blood sugar spikes after the meals, then stick around because this video is exactly for you. I'm a public health professional, a science journalist, and a type 1 diabetic since over 20 years. In the next minutes, I will explain to you one of my biggest learnings of the last years, which helped me to improve my blood sugar levels immediately, every day. And after this, I have a little bonus tip for you. So make sure to stick around until the end of the video. So what I want to encourage you to do is to eat less processed foods and more real foods. There's three main reasons why this is going to lead to a healthier glucose metabolism. Most processed foods contain added sugar. And I'm not just talking about sweets and stuff you would think that there's sugar in it. I'm talking about dressing, sauces, I'm talking about bread crackers, other things. You would never guess that there's sugar in it. The second problem is that processed foods barely contain fiber. Fiber is super important when it comes to a stable blood sugar because fiber are the reason that the digestion is taken a little bit longer and the blood sugar spi spike will not be that extreme. So processed foods have less fiber and that means that it comes with a side effect of a huge blood sugar spike after the meal. And the third and probably most important point about processed foods is that they contain a huge amount of energy in little tiny serving sizes. This leads to overeating and in the end to an even bigger blood sugar spike. So if your diet contains a lot of processed foods, there is a good chance that your blood sugar is spiking after every single meal, after every single snack or drink you have in the day. So here's my bonus tip for you. If you're all motivated now to change your diet and kick out all of your processed foods out of your kitchen, then my advice to you is to do this change in baby steps. So start with the breakfast, for example. Change that to a better one. After you change to breakfast and you're getting used to that, then move on to your snacks. And after that, move on to the other meals of the day. If you like this video, please hit the like button. This helps me to improve my channel and spread my health messages to more people. Thank you for watching this and see you next time.